In a small bayside town in 1936, a lady Matilda gained the nickname the Tooth Fairy for giving out gold coins for teeth. One night a house fire left her horribly disfigured and extremely sensitive to light. Due to this Matilda decided to wear a porcelain mask made out of the teeth and only went out after dark. After the disappearance of two boys the town was quick to blame her and she was condemned to death. With her final breath Matilda laid a curse upon the town, that what she once took in kindness, she will forever take in revenge. Soon afterwards the two missing boys returned home and the town later known as Darkness Falls covered up the murder. Many believe that Matilda still visits on the night one loses their last baby tooth, seeking revenge on anyone who lays eyes upon her face. Over 150 years later, Kyle Walsh has just lost his last baby tooth. That night before going to sleep, Kyle's mom tucks him into bed before he hops out and hears a noise at the window. He gets a scare by his best friend Caitlin Green who has come to invite him to a party. He turns down the invite but asks her to the school dance, which she accepts and gives Kyle his first kiss. She leaves and jokes that the Tooth Fairy will take you away forever if you peek at her. Kyle is woken by a shriek in the middle of the night, but finds the room empty and lays back down with a flashlight to protect him. He peeks out from behind his sheets and sees the masked face of Matilda, but causes her to recoil when he shines his light in her face. Kyle's scream wakes his mother, who finds him hiding in the bathroom but assures him that there is nothing to be afraid of. She investigates the bedroom against her son's wishes and is brutally killed by Matilda's vengeful spirit. The Tooth Fairy's weakness in life remains with her in death, an extreme sensitivity to light causing her to avoid it at all costs. Kyle spends the entire night sitting in a bathtub with the lights on, preventing Matilda from reaching him as she wails away just outside the door. The next morning police arrest Kyle believing that he has murdered his mother, and the scratches from Matilda on his face make it look pretty bad. Twelve years later and Caitlin's younger brother is having the same problems, having also seen Matilda's face, but is diagnosed by a doctor as having night terrors. For the past three weeks he hasn't slept with the lights off, and when he does he is being hunted by Matilda. Kyle now carries a bag of flashlights with him at all times in fear of Matilda's return. He left Darkness Falls and now suffers depression, when he suddenly gets a call from his old friend Caitlin who he hasn't spoken to ever since that night. She asks him to help Michael get over his fear of the dark as she assumes he would have done, but Kyle never did. Kyle returns to his childhood town and tries to convince Michael that there is nothing to be afraid of, but soon realizes that Michael isn't crazy and has seen Matilda as well. Michael tells Kyle that it would be easier to turn off all the lights and just let her take him, something Kyle has been thinking about for years. Caitlin walks in and the two friends begin to catch up, until she shows him Michael's collection of Matilda sketches and freaks Kyle out. He tells her it was a mistake to come and that he doesn't know how to help her, but runs into an old friend from school named Larry on the way out. The two go to a bar despite Kyle wanting to leave the town as soon as possible, and getting nervous at the growing shadows around him. Unable to drink due to the medication he's on, Kyle is approached by someone who believes the story that he killed his mother named Ray. Kyle refuses to fight him and leaves during what is now nighttime while staying within the lights. From behind Kyle is tackled off the balcony by Ray and they tumble into the woods. As soon as they are away from a light source Matilda begins to approach, giving Kyle the terrified strength to overcome Ray, who now sees the spirit for himself. Kyle escapes back to the lights of civilization but leaves Ray in the woods to be snatched up by Matilda. A couple minutes later, Larry shows up with a police search party and goes looking for Kyle, when the body of Ray drops from the trees on top of him. Kyle goes to see Caitlin who treats his wounds, and he tells her that he moved to Las Vegas to work nights at a casino to be closer to more lights, when the police barge in and arrest him. At the station the officers find a stash of flashlights and a buttload of antipsychotics, assuming that his history of sociopathic tendencies and disassociative syndrome is enough to convict him of being Ray's killer. Caitlin defends him as she knows Kyle is a good man, but is spent too long away from her brother Michael and goes to go check on him. She arrives at the hospital to find that only a moment earlier Michael was attacked again when he let his guard down. The hospital now believes that he is trying to harm himself and plans to place Michael inside a sensory deprivation chamber, hoping that confronting his fears will cause him to get over them. With the only other option being medication and that not having worked so far, Caitlin agrees in fear he may harm himself again. Kyle is held in a police cell under a light until morning, and just before sunset is bailed out by Larry having had the worst night of his life. With the cops keeping his flashlights as evidence they go to the nearest sporting goods store and buy up all the lighting, refusing the cashier's offer to buy a pistol. With 20 minutes until sunset, Kyle has Larry race him over to the hospital while Caitlin signs the release forms for Michael. Darkness falls and Kyle notices that Larry isn't taking him towards the hospital anymore but is instead leading him away from town to lay low. When Larry tells Kyle that they are going to be shutting the lights out on Michael, Kyle draws a gun on his friend having stolen it from the hardware store earlier. 
Larry refuses to turn around, but Matilda lands in the windshield causing them to crash and sending Kyle through the glass. He shouts back at Larry not to look at her but he can't help himself, and is pulled from his car into the forest before being heard screaming. Kyle hears his friend torn apart just next to him so he gets the car started again and flees. On the drive back to Darkness Falls, he attempts to call the hospital to warn Caitlin but the receptionist hears his name and just calls the police. Michael has been strapped to a gurney and is slowly being lowered into a dark tunnel in some twisted therapy, when Kyle bursts in and demands they let him out. Police show up and once again arrest Kyle, now assuming that he also killed Larry. At the station, Kyle tries to explain the situation to the police by asking them how many murders have gone unsolved over the last 100 years, but Officer Matt still doesn't believe him. Since two people have now escaped from Matilda's wrath, it has caused her to become more active and she uses a storm to kill power to the whole town. With Kyle now relying on a small light coming from a generator, Matt goes to investigate a break-in heard at the back of the station. He sees a shadow and lets off some rounds of gunfire, but when the other officers arrive they discover that he was just spooked. Only one officer is left to keep an eye on Kyle in the darkness, so he is quickly killed and has his body used to smash a light. The rest of the officers get back to a sudden attack by Matilda who reveals herself, where she uses the gunfire from the terrified officers to knock out all of the remaining generators. The whole time Kyle keeps himself in the beam of a flashlight and uses a dead officer's keys to escape the cell. Just before the last cop in the entire town is killed, Matt is saved by Kyle using flashlights to scare the wraith away. Back at the hospital Michael is refusing to get out from under a bed with a flashlight, but is quickly joined by Caitlin when she begins to hear nurses around them scream. Matilda flips the bed over and chases the two down a hallway, only being held back by their flashlights. The spirit startles Caitlin causing her to drop her light, then slowly flies up to her and Michael about to get her revenge. Just then they are pulled into an elevator by Kyle who knocks Matilda back with a flare to the face. Before they reach the bottom, Matilda flies straight into the top of the elevator destroying it and smashing part of her porcelain mask. They continue to use flares and the hospital's low-generated lighting to escape off the elevator and join a group of doctors and nurses, who have also seen her face. When half the lights go out one of the nurses is snatched up from the shadow, and when they attempt to make a jump down a dark staircase the other is as well. Kyle and the doctor are knocked to the ground when making the final leap down the staircase, and are almost taken by Matilda, when Matt comes crashing through the front of the hospital with his high beams on and scares her away. They attempt to make it to the lighthouse to hold out until morning as it is the last remaining light source in the town. When the doctor suggests that they keep driving as they are safe in the car, Matilda makes him swallow his words with a quick kill. She then begins to smash the vehicle from the outside until Caitlin shines a torch in her face. They make it inside the lighthouse but find that the fuel line isn't making it to the generator, so Kyle and Matt take the lanterns and search to find a leak in the hose. While making repairs, Matt leans too far from his light source to assist Kyle and is instantly killed, while Kyle falls from a decent height and is temporarily knocked unconscious, with his arm in a puddle of gasoline. Matilda decides to go for Caitlin and Michael who are now only guarded by glow sticks, but as she is just about to kill them Kyle throws his lantern into its face. Michael is the only one small enough and makes it to the power switch to illuminate the lighthouse, destroying Matilda's spirit. Kyle goes to check it out, but she comes back from the old fake out and picks him up, then attempts to stick her finger in his eyes. He manages to knock her mask off revealing the burnt flesh, and as the lighthouse continues to weaken her, Kyle sticks his flammable soaked arm in the lighthouse heat source, setting his hand on fire and walloping her in the face. Matilda's spirit lets out one last shriek before igniting and disappearing into a ball of light forever. Sometime later, creepy noises are heard around a bedroom after someone has just lost his last baby tooth, but it is just his mother who places a coin in place of it. And the movie ends. So you made it. I appreciate your time. I couldn't have done it without you. Tell your mother I said thanks.